the excitement of today is the fact that we're showing 5G and ATSC3 interacting with each other. Uh, we're looking at mobile broadcast television, uh, something that that, uh, that no other standard has achieved on a mass basis. It's a, it's a standard that was purpose designed for mobility. It was purpose designed uh, to operate in conjunction with uh, with the regular telecom networks. So the, the, the fact that we're here in, in Washington, D.C., uh, and, and showing the ability to not just intermix 5G and this new broadcast standard together, but to do it coupled with, uh, with GPS positioning uh, and awareness of, of differentiation between viewers. What, what you see for a commercial is different than what the person beside you sees. Uh, we're talking free over the air television. So the te television that, that we associate with the, the idea of an antenna on the roof of a house has been made portable, it's been made mobile. So that same free over the air content uh, and a lot more of it is available through this new standard. Uh, Hyundai Movis is a member of Hyundai Motor Group. Yeah, vehicle TV system will be the one of the best options that people can enjoy with cars. Uh, everybody wants to lead, lead the industry. So we are leading the industry with Sinclair and Castellar as a help. So all your network television, you know, all the all the TV that you often get through your cable provider, you can get right now for free sitting right off the off your antenna. So that same technology with ATSC 3.0 is able to be received now in a car on your mobile device. Uh, it can transmit data as well as entertainment like video and audio. I can tr transmit music services. I can transmit video services. So with, with this technology, the, the, the receiver that's in the car is a gateway device. Uh, and it, it puts out Wi-Fi, the, the same Wi-Fi that your phone, tablet, and every other device connects to. Well, that, that one receiver in the car spreads that, that content across all the devices in the car. They don't have to be connected. Well, if they're streaming, they're consuming data, and you're paying for that data. So, so they're not consuming data. They are taking that free over-the-air television, which is now being presented in the form of, of, of an internet service, if you will, IP data, uh, can be consumed by every device that you, that you already own that is capable of receiving Wi-Fi. So uh, an embedded part of this standard is what's known as advanced emergency informing. Now we all know that big squawk comes up on TV and they're testing the emergency broadcast system. Well, what comes along with this is, is all kinds of rich data. So if it's a hurricane, uh, it, uh, we're able to show you in real time the escape routes, the flood maps, the, you know, where to go for shelter, a tornado, uh, you see it on television at home, but now uh, in your car you'll be able to see, you know, sort of a block by block uh, you know, propagation of that tornado across the region. So, so what you get now with this new mobile television standard is everything you got in the home on your television and the associated pieces of that that you're getting across the web services that the local television station are offering, all of that is brought to you to, together in real time on very simple devices. Uh, based on our expertise, we will fully support the Sinclair and Test Era to start and expand vehicle TV business in US. Well, I, I like to say that an automobile is the ultimate wireless device. As, as you move forward with mapping services and you move forward with entertainment services, you move forward with you know, what we're seeing here is bad weather services that are going on right now on the, on the tablet. Uh, and you, then you couple that with the ability to update firmware, update software in the car, up Date, uh, data that can go to your own device. Uh, the car is like the ultimate consumer of a wireless signal. Mm -hmm. And now with broadcast, we have an efficiency and a cost-effective way to be able to participate in delivering all of these services to a whole community. We are leading this um, technology with the Sinclair and Cast Era. We already developed a prototype uh, for um, a vehicle TV system. Um, mass production will be ready for us to start. We've never had the ability to broadcast one-to-many in an internet format. 
internet format. So what that means is that it, you know we've always been restricted to this one to one to one model, right? Now you got to send you something, sending someone else something, one on one. Well, now we're sending one to everyone uh, with the same internet protocol that that all the other services are writing on. So I think that the applications and services uh, of the future are things that, that nobody's even thought of now because they've never had the tools to be able to do. So it's really, it, I think it's a, a great and exciting time to be in, uh, in, in broadcasting.